Okay, so I went to PetSmart today and a couple other places, but we'll start with PetSmart. And I spent roughly $80 and I donated a few dollars to whatever their animal charity is. So that's not exactly how much all this was, but let's say $85 just for fun. I got another thing of litter. This is the best kind we found. Um, I got this pet, what is it called? Pet Stages Cheese Chase. And they had several different sizes, but since I have two cats, I figured I'd get the big one. Um, that was like 10 or, or no, that was like 15 or $20 for the big one. I got two of these cans of cat food. Um, these are the cheapest I've found. Um, they were only like $8 each for 24 cans of each. So I don't think that's bad. And they love it and they look forward to it every morning. So, and then I got this dry cat food. This is like the easy digestion. Sensitive, sensitive cats. Anyway, <laughs> so then I went to Walmart and I went to Ulta when I was in Lexington and they their concealer was so expensive and I just didn't want to spend that much money on it. So I went to Walmart and I got this Neutrogena concealer. It was on clearance for $8.26. And I've never tried it before, but I figured, why not? Honestly, I didn't even know Walmart had like a makeup clearance bin. It was on the end of the aisle. I had to look for it. Um, but we'll see how that works out. I got some more um, Equate Zyrtec is what that is. And then a pack of gum because I forgot to ask mom and dad to get me some when they went to the store. Um, oh, this is a big bag I did. I went to DSW and I was looking for either black flats or black sandals, some kind of casual black shoe that I could wear on the weekend with athletic pants or with leggings or jeans or anything like that. And I found these, mom's gonna hate them. I already know she's gonna hate them because these are the hippiest shoes I've ever owned. These are what flower people wear. I, but I like them and they're cute and they're so comfortable and they have them brown and I was so close to getting the brown ones. But then I thought, no, so she's got the black ones for now. And if I really like them, I can always go back and get the brown ones. Do you hate them? I, no, I actually think they're cute. Really? I really do. That's I, surprising because I literally thought when I was printing and I was like, mom's going to leave these for I could never wear them because I like to have a heel on my shoe. Mm -hmm. But See, I like to take my shoes off at all moments possible. But I think like, if, you can wear, if you can wear flip-flops, though, you can wear those. Yeah. See, I, I don't wear flip-flops, so that's... And I feel like those are a dressier. But I like those. So how much were those? Oh, you don't even want to know. They were like $65. They were on sale. So. They were on sale for $65? Yeah, normally they're like $100. Oh wow. Yeah, what so. brand is that? I don't Merrill? Know. I've Merrill. never heard of okay. that. Okay. Um, and then the last place I went was the dress barn. And I actually checked out twice because I tried on, I don't know if you know who Ashley Graham is. She is a model and she designed um, clothes for the dress barn, like a lot. And I think most of her items are plus size. So she only has like a few dresses and kind of the is it misses or women's? Like the zero through 12 before you go over to the other side of the store. Um, I don't remember, I don't. I can never remember which one's misses and which one's women's. But she only has like three different dresses over there. And I loved this one. And they had a small and a large on the rack. So I knew I went a small. So I tried on the large and it was like, the, it was just too big. I was walking out of the store and I saw this on the model, looked at the size and it was a medium. And I was, so I asked the woman to strip the model for it for me and she did so i got this ashley graham dress and it's a color that i would not normally wear but i really like it um and it's not that low cut it like folds over so i think that's really cute and then i have the worst time finding jeans ever in this whole entire world because i'm so short and so i bought these and they fit i sent mom a picture i've gone to probably 10 stores the past three weeks looking for jeans dress bar 30 percent off too um, if they had them in other like washes, I would have gotten those, but they don't need that one. And the last but not least, I got this cute little wallet. Um, it was on sale for $10, and I think I got 20% off, so I got it for $8. Um, but just a little wallet to keep in my backpack that's not so big and bulky. And that's it. At Meyer, Kevin bought the Smucker's Sugar-Free Concord Grape Jam. He looked for the other kind that you all told me about, but they did not have it at Meyer. So he saw the Smucker's and I said, go ahead and buy this because the, the jam I have right now is 50 calories a tablespoon and this is only 10. So definitely willing to give that a try. And we bought some Keebler Fudge Stripe cookies and he bought the new Caramel M&M's. 
At Kroger, I bought some palm olive. Uh, I like the clear. And this was the Free Friday this week, Smart Delight Popcorn. Uh, they had sea salt, white cheddar. They had a jalapeno ranch, which if I was going to eat it, I would have bought the jalapeno. But this is for Kevin. So he uh, chose the white cheddar. We bought some the Foyer crossovers. This is the caramel blended. Someone recommended he get the lemon with cookies, but they did not have that. So um, someone else was standing there and she said this was wonderful. She said the honey... Uh, is already mixed in with the yogurt, I think. Or the caramel's already mixed in with the yogurt. One or the other. Anyway, she said it was really good. So Kevin will be trying that. And then he picked out four of these tray uh, Latin foods. And uh, I put some of them on Instagram. These. I put some of these on Instagram. These are minis. Uh, this is pulled pork and pinto bean. And then this one is jalapeno and cheese. This one was the one that Kroger uh, had a sign that said was new. And then this is uh, pinto bean and cheese. I guess it's it's without the pulled pork, I guess. That's what makes it different. And this is chicken and cheese. And then they were having their big uh, mega event for drinks. They were $1.99, I think, each. And so we bought six Diet Cokes and six Coke Zeros. At Walmart, I bought the Great Value Wet Mopping Cloths. These are just like the Swiffer, except they're Great Value brand. One of you all commented and told me, uh, asked me, had I tried these? Uh, because these were just as good. And I have never tried these. I had never even noticed them, honestly. Uh, but they were a dollar, a full dollar cheaper. So I hope they work just as well. I'm willing to give them a try, though, for a full dollar cheaper. And then... In a, a haul a weeks ago, I had bought like four of the Oral-B dental tapes because they were on sale. And I said, it just seems fishy that they would be on clearance. They were on clearance, not just on sale, but on clearance. And I said, I bet they're going to get rid of them and not get them back. Well, I went in today. There was no tape at all. There was only dental floss. So I bought a two pack of dental floss. I bought some ice breakers. These are the cinnamon ones. I actually bought two, but one is in my purse. Kevin wanted some ibuprofen. We bought some Velcro. I uh, bought some Aunt Millie's whole grain bread. That's 35 calories. We bought some ballpark hot dog buns because um, Ashley wanted some hot dogs. So the hot dogs and the hot dog buns. She also wanted some Cheetos. We bought the new apple streusel coffee cakes from Hostess. I bought two, um, instead of getting cauliflower and carrots, I decided this week to get two heads of cauliflower and get uh, two cucumbers. And then I bought, uh, two, this is a pack of the Hershey's, their mini cakes. This is uh, sweetened coconut flakes and butterscotch chips. I bought those for a recipe. We bought some bluegrass. We've never had this brand, so we'll be trying it for a video. Bluegrass jalapeno cheese metwurst, and then just metwurst, and then bratwurst. And then I bought a two pack of butter, and we bought some sauerkraut. That is to go with the bratwurst, and they had it in a bag right in that same section. But it was like a huge bag and we did not need that much. So this was this brand was actually cheaper than the Great Value brand. And then we bought some Gordon's uh, fish. And Kevin spotted these peanut butter dipped. Uh, we have not tried the peanut butter dipped Great Value cones. And then I bought some, this is just like uh, Rice Krispies, except it's Great Value brand. And it's for a recipe anyway. So and it was it was like a dollar cheaper than Rice Krispies. We went to, uh, I was going to say Sam's Club. We went to Costco and we got these free, free samples. Ashley got one and I got one. And I've never, I don't remember trying these before. These are the Tide Pods. So I'm going to try them today because I haven't started my laundry yet. And then Kevin bought some things to try on his Lunchtime Review channel. He's going to try this roast beef and Italian style uh, sandwich tray. And then he's going to be trying this Greek pasta with rotisserie chicken and dressing. And it looks really good. It's full of stuff. And then he's going to be trying this. Um, this part. I don't know if I'll try the lunch. It says chicken alfredo. I know, it's made up wrong. It's really uh, meatloaf. Okay. It's meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. 
And then at Walgreens, we um, I finally found the Pringles that I was looking for. Uh, the Jamaican Jerk Pringles and the Cheddar Barbecue Pringles. And the Pop Secret Pop Fetty. This is a limited edition. And then at the Dress Barn, this is a clothing item I know in the middle of a grocery haul. Um, I bought a black blazer. I have never owned one before. I've always wanted one. And I feel like... Uh, now I wanted to do it. So it was, it had been $49.50 and I got it for half off. It was on the and the clearance rack, 50% off. So um, I'm very, very happy with it.